there, people of Earth. I'm Carly Shay, and this is our very first webcast of a little show we call I Carly. She's Carly. She's Sam. Sam, I am. Carly, Sam. I think they're clear. Hi, Shelby. Remember how you promised to go easy on me and not really hit? <laughs> Listen, doing iCarly for you guys has meant so, so much to me. And it's changed my life. It's kept me out of prison. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> Show's been a lot of fun. Welcome to the new iCarly. Ooh, it looks like she's already got a few viewers. Probably bots from Brazil. <laughs> This is still iCarly, but it's grown up now. So today, I thought I'd share my skincare routine. According to the many, many targeted ads I get, it's never too early to start using anti-aging products. <laughs> Even for baby Spencer! Yay! So listen, I need a favor. Shoot. I have to tape a bunch of auditions at school on Saturday. Fun. Yeah, not really. <laughs> anyway, would you let me borrow your video camera? I would. Awesome. Though, I can't. Why not? <laughs> I made it into a squirrel. Thanks for taking care of me. Come on. You both know I'm a big, tall, goofy man-child. <laughs> you took care of yourself. Spencer, this is amazing! Well, there is one more thing, but I don't know. Maybe it's over the top. Well, we wouldn't want that. May I sketch you? Are we about to live out my Titanic fantasy? Y'all know how that movie ends, right? What do you think of my equipment? I just asked to borrow your video camera. What is all this? Well, that's a three-ship high-def camcorder with a hypercardioid condenser microphone mounted on a carbon fiber tripod with a low-drag fluid head. I also brought you juice and a bagel. Lubert rented me this place for only 100 bucks a month, and now my mom can't... It's all right. That happens whenever somebody uses the elevator. Hey, there's no bathroom in here. There's a sink. <laughs> Tomorrow, I promised Gibby I'd help him do some research on the proper care and feeding of weasels, so... I figured the sooner I get all this equipment out of here, the sooner I could take it down to... <laughs> hey, Barracudas. Whipping up a big meal is hard. With all the different recipes and ingredients and timing, who can keep it straight? That's why I created Bon Appetimer, the app that takes the guesswork out of kitchen work. Just drag in your recipes and the app alerts you every step of the way. My mom. Oh my God. How dare you teach Freddy something as dangerous as fencing? Mom, you don't know anything about fencing. It's not dangerous. I know more about fencing than you think. You're coming home with me right now and having a tick bath. I don't have ticks. Because the tick baths are working, aren't they? Ah. I have been waiting outside for nine and a half minutes. So? So? When you were ready to be born, did I keep you waiting? Yes. You were pregnant with me for 11 months. I wanted to make sure you were done. Uh, Mrs. Benson, you're kind of drawing a crowd. Oh, are you all Freddy's friends? No, 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 no Mom, they're not all my friends. Who wants to see his baby pictures? <laughs> you girls want a little taste of a fence invention? I separated the pieces into several piles. Freckles, dimples, and skin tags. I don't see any pieces with facial stubble. I know. I had them photoshopped smooth. <laughs> <sighs> Puzzle.
puzzle piece cut. Not to worry, I have miles of gauze. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> Would you like to dance? Dance? <laughs> Look, I don't want to sound rude, but I really didn't come here to dance. Could you just interview me about the wet... Neville! <laughs> I stole a kiss upon your cheek. And now another kiss I seek. Seek some top and odd. <laughs> you want to prove you're sincere? Then drink from the shoe. <laughs> this wahoo punch. Is it organic? Drink it! <sighs> and now... Why are you doing this to me? No one can hear you scream in a purple robot costume. You can't take the head off. It's magnetically sealed. Is it really so insane to think an epic love story spanning decades could finally land on Happily Ever After? Oh, please. I know your epic love story with Prunella is a lie. You're right. But my love story with you is the truth. Eh? Come on, Carly. No more cat and mouse. It's time to let me catch you. What do you mean you can't let us leave? I mean that tonight was the first time in my life I was ever popular. Your angels that were sent to me to change my life. I can't let my angels fly away. Nora, we have to go. No. I can't let that happen. It's bad luck if you don't have some birthday cake. <laughs> well, it's not really your birthday. It is too! <laughs> Whether it's technically my birthday or not, we're all going to pretend it's my actual birthday! Do you understand? Oh, you know, I was just scaling the side of the building and noticed your window was open, so boop. <laughs> you, you scaled the building? Please don't tell my parents they think I'm at Coldstone Creamery. <laughs> you still live with your parents? That's so... normal. That's a lot of peewee babies. Oh, that's nothing. I have 223 more in the closet. I guess that's why you're here, for cool air. Kinda. Uh-huh. But not for me. I brought my peewee babies. Oh, my God. Okay. Look, they're really valuable. And if they get too hot or too cold, I mean, they could become misshapen. Misshapen. Everyone get ready for a... Sandstorm! I'm Freddy, VIPDS for NSD. And I'm Griffin, VIPPSC of NSD and EST. Not a licensed hypnotist. And I'm Carly. I understand you put some flyers up all over the school. Yes, I did. Why would you photo dock my head onto the body of a rhinoceros? Well, I... Rhinoceros? Oh, no, no, no. She made you a hippopotamus. No, no, she's a rhinoceros. A hippo has fatter thighs and a wider snout. What <laughs> does it matter? It's our very own principal from Ridgeway High School, Principal Franklin! Now, is there some special reason why you're here? Yes, there is, Carly and Sam. I'm here to say a special happy birthday to one of your biggest fans, my daughter, Emily. <gasps> All right, Gibby. I know. I'll start shutting things down. No, you won't. We can stay open? You better. More hot meat for everyone. Yeah. I come bearing a gift. Remember when Miss Briggs asked all of her students to write letters to their future selves to be delivered on their 27th birthday? Oh, yeah, the where do you see yourself in 15 years thing. She said she was going to deliver them herself. Well, she was supposed to, but she canceled at the last minute. She twist an ankle, break a hip, she fall down a well. Please tell me she fell down a well. <laughs> oh, she's fine. She just hates you. <laughs> <laughs>